This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That cross the bridge. producer. Make me a producer. It's time for our Friday Fire Cypher. It's Friday. Fire. On Sway in the morning. All right, that was David Sisko. Who are some of those artists that were featured in that, that mini mix? It's it's hard to select, but those four artists in a row that you heard were Sandflower, Wavy Nights, Ninja Sonic, doing Ninja fucking Sonic, <laughs> Prince Terrence, the DJ, okay. and an amazing musician doing All Night, and then Sour Life from Crown Heights doing Keep It Burning. Okay, that was nice. You like yeah. that? You like that, yeah. HB? Like that? Hey, um, David, I want to introduce you to a true lyricist right here. A true MC. How you doing? That's me. A MC's <laughs> MC. You know, legacy is sealed. <laughs> you know, if you know about that free nation, you know the, you know the, you know the residue they they leave, uh, the impact they make. Uh, great intro. Yes. <laughs> this ain't for those who pretending to be MCs. This is for those who were born as MCs. Mm. The healing component is the name of his new project. He's one of those dudes that make your face, you know, he'll make you look young for a long time because mm. you're going to be squitching up your face when you hear his bars. <laughs> and that's good for exercising your facial your muscles. muscles. yes. Yeah, you, you need to do that from the time to time. I'm really excited to have him here because uh, listening to his project, um, I, I'm always um, impressed by people who I, I really, you know, I say this and it doesn't matter if you're a rapper, singer, musician. You know, I really enjoy Solange Knowles project. Mm, um, see that on the table. Because I can listen to that project and hear the effort that she put into every moment of that project, even if that moment didn't require heavy lifting, mm. I think she thought about it. You know what I mean? I she agree. put her love and care into it. When you listen to this man's project, the healing component, um, as far as MCs go um, and musically, um, I can tell that they really sat down and thought this out. And he probably got a great team around him that said, nah, man, scrap those bars. You got to do something different. <laughs> or he either did it to himself. Because from beginning to sure. end, I really enjoyed this project. Welcome to the show, the one and only Mick Jenkins, ladies Thank and gentlemen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. For having me. For real. It's been a long time for you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How long has it been now? Uh, about five, six years. Five or six wow. years. Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, it's not overnight success. At all. Uh, you know, how'd you get started? Uh, I always was writing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I was doing poetry uh, from a young, early age and started rapping in college. Not even, it was around the time that uh, Dre B's headphones came out. Okay. And it was like the, the prize for winning this rap competition. So that was my focus. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? When I started rapping, getting some headphones. Yeah. And uh, it just very, very naturally spiraled into what it is right now. You mm -hmm. know, mixtape after mixtape with no response from more than 200 people who just kept me working more mm -hmm. and more until something caught on. Mm -hmm. yeah. More than 200 people. Did you win the headphones? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Who beat you? Uh, you know, I'll be rapping. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He had more of the crowd on his oh, side, right. so that lean music. that's what happened. Yeah, had yeah. that lean music. Yeah, the lean music. <laughs> but it's you, crazy how... Nah, he had some bars, though, but, bars, it, okay. man, I got bars. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. So, But, no, nah, he definitely had more of the crowd, and I think that's what ended mm -hmm. up doing it. But besides bars, you obviously have resilience because that didn't phase you, losing that, and then you said not getting a response from 200 people you emailed. No, 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 no. Like, I, I would drop a project, yeah. and i get 200 downloads. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, okay, okay. Nothing, you know, but I, it just made me feel like, all right, well, I got to do something better. All right, well, I got to do something better. All right. I ended up having five projects before Trees and Truths. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I took them off once Trees and Truths came out, as I noticed that people were really starting to get hit. But yeah, like you said, it was just resilience. It was like, all right, well, back to the drawing board. Yeah. So yeah. can you give us like a a mini tour of um your evolution? Like, what's the difference from when you first came out with the music? Um, between now and this latest chapter in your life? Um, well, I wasn't just, I really wasn't talking about anything when I first came out. And I mean, I've always been true to who I was, but I was not doing anything either. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was in college, fucking around, um, not really worried about school. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be this guy that I was trying to be. And that's what I was rapping about. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
uh, uh, something happened in my life that caused me to really, really look at what the fuck I was doing. And uh, I wasn't doing anything, so I went back home and I tried to get my life together. And that's when the music changed. Because, you know, like I said, I was always talking about who I was and what I was doing. And I just started getting a lot of realities of the world you know, in my face all at one time. Um, and, and I just went through a lot of learning, a lot of lessons, um, you know, throughout that period of coming home and being like, boom, you on your own. You're by yourself now. Now what you gonna do? You know, um, navigate in that world. Um, you really, really grinding. Like, I mean, I was trying to hustle money to go out and do whatever I had to do for the day at the beginning of the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like I couldn't even move around unless I, you know, made some money first. You mm-hmm. feel me? So, um, ended up getting a job, a pretty decent job, oh, copywriting. Copywriting? For, yeah, for a marketing firm in the West Loop. Um, of Chicago, that shit was going really well. Uh, got a raise, you know what I'm saying? They was talking about putting me on payroll, it was yeah. late. And uh, I, I went back to school, like not to school, but to the city mm-hmm. to fuck with my niggas. I ended up getting arrested and mm-hmm. did like 34 days for possession. I lost that job and then came back to Chicago after that and it was like, well, I know I could do the corporate thing. Like, Let me try the music, you know what I'm saying? And uh, two and a half years later, <laughs> we are, yeah, right. yeah. So that shit was tough. You yeah, know? it was definitely a road. Um, but like I said, everything kind of progressed really naturally. There wasn't like any like big jumps uh-huh. in between any of these things. You know what I'm saying? It was like lessons learned and, and abilities cultivated yeah. in the meantime. Uh-huh. You know, so that's something that happened. You mentioned earlier. Was it the going to jail that changed your? You said something. Nah, nah. It was like a breakup. Yeah, oh, yeah. Break I, 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 I might have, I might have got cheated on. Actually, I didn't have all the evidence, but I had enough evidence. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That I was just, hey like, man, right. where there smoke, bro? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what kind of evidence you have? Like ass shots or something on the phone or something like that? Uh, nah. Actually, you know what I'm saying. Actually, damn, I hate to say this shit. I did. Yeah. Uh, no, no, nah, nah, nah. She, um, I was all right. This what happened. I was laying on the bed. She was laying on my chest. Right. She got a phone call. And it said, Dad. She was like, oh, this is, you know what I'm saying? I told yeah. you I was going to hop on the phone with my dad. I'm going to go outside and take this car. She goes outside to take the car. Maybe like a like a week later, I'm using her phone because my phone is dead. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, some nosy nigga shit, some college nigga shit. I just went through her phone. But I didn't even have to go through her messages or nothing. Like, I just saw this app called Fake a Text. Oh. And I used it before. Yeah. I used it before. Yeah. So I'm yeah. hip. I open the app. And it's that message. Uh-huh. Uh, that one, like, uh, okay, Renny, you could call me now from dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, I was just like, well, I just put that shit together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then in the midst of putting that shit get together, I peeped a lot of lies and shit. So who knows what happened? But I just, I wasn't comfortable with it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, like well, we put there'd that. be no need to lie. If, you know what I'm saying? If, if it was all kosher. So I just got out of there. You know, like I said, that shit hurt. And then it was just like, what am I doing down here anyway? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. What the fuck am I doing? You See, no, no, that makes sense, yeah, man, because I, what uh, you got a couple of skits on here, like this type love interlude, right? Mm. And I was listening to the conversation in this type love. Can you love somebody? Is love the same for everybody? Yeah. You know, you, you guys go into this kind of conversation. Yeah. And I was thinking, as hardcore of a rapper this dude is, he got a real soft, sensitive side about him, too, it seemed like. I don't, you know what? I think. The the I, those what those words mean to people yeah. says a lot. I mm-hmm. don't think it's very soft or sensitive. I mean, for what those words mean to people, yeah. it is. But yeah. for me, it's just like this is reality. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not dealing with this, if you're not addressing this in yourself, like, you got problems. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. if you're not talking about this stuff, if you don't understand these things within yourself, then you have problems. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing soft. Or, it's actually hard. Yeah. For for men to be this way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're actually not wired. Uh-huh. To want to delve into these things and understand these things with with uh, great understanding, you know what I'm saying? It's actually harder for us. I don't really feel like so. You know what I'm saying? Like that, and, and that's that's something about that interlude that I that I wanted to be understood. That I know that's not going to be readily understood is that I was I felt free to be wrong. Uh, you understand uh-huh. what I'm saying? Um, I ended up I started with the no, 
and ended up changing my answer at the end of the three minutes to a yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that's a big problem when you're talking about stuff like this is that people jump on you as soon as your opinion is different and don't allow the space for you to like talk through something and change your mind. You understand what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh, That's something that I wanted to be noticed too. But you know, more so than anything is just have that conversation. What that's a, you know, I never thought about that before. She asked, that was a, that was a rare, raw conversation between me and my sister, and I never thought about that like that before. So that, that none of that was scripted. That was no. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Conceptually, that's a, like like this. The album got so many threads. You know, uh, the way it moves and the sequence, I thought was really well done. And I'm glad you're explaining this to me because I we do this thing where we break down the lyrics. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you got a song called "Spread Love." And uh, one of the verses uh, in this song, I want to break down the lyrics. Let's do it. Nick Jenkins. I don't get it. What exactly <laughs> don't you get? Breaking down the lyrics you may not understand. What the hell did you just say? It's the Lyrical Breakdown. I can break it down like whatever you want. On Sway in the Morning. All right. Uh, we're going to break down the lyrics to the healing component. All right? <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, but I want to start... Um, with the second verse, all right? I'm not gonna rap it as well as you do, although if I put my mind to it, Mick, you probably could. Do whatever my you man, want. Mick, understands me well. You know, I'm in a round of applause right yeah. here. That dude knows me. He knows me, Heather. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Second verse, I'm not always talking marijuana when I'm referencing these trees. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. What are you talking about if it's not always marijuana? Uh, I think that. I, I, I interchange it with a lot of different meanings that are very similar, mm-hmm. but I talk about uh, the roots okay. being like the roots of situations being what they are, the tree being like the the thing that you see, mm-hmm. uh, the leaves and the fruit being what we produce, you know what I'm saying? So I could be a tree, you know what I'm saying? And where my roots are, you know, what has caused me to arrive at my understanding of the world today, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then the leaves and the fruit are the things that I produce because of that understanding. I think the system, a system can be a tree. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like with the same things apply. And often we see the tree. A lot of times we don't see the tree. Mm-hmm. Most of us see the leaves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and very, very rarely the roots of the situation. So that's, that's something that all of the metaphors that I put together from trees and truths, waters, you know, say spread love, they're things that remain true even if it's not swallowed up by that concept. So mm-hmm. it's not going to leave, you know what I'm saying? Like that that idea has been there since Trees and Trues, and it's something that I can still put in, you know, the mm-hmm. healing component and not, you know, be mixing up the, the metaphors or anything. Like they just kind of remain, so. Okay. Always talking water, but that's just the truth. You got to read between the lines. Yeah. Water is synonymous with truth. And, yeah. Yeah, otherwise that's pretty straightforward. Okay, and got you sniffing coke up off hundred dollar bills. We sipped a lean, we popped the pills, pills. Yeah. You want to get into that a little bit? Or I mean, that's that? just you know what we do, drugs. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? All these, all these things that we do. I don't, and I, and it's you and do, I do you sip, do drugs? I I just smoke weed. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never done any other hard drugs. I, I've done shrooms. Okay, shrooms. I, okay. I took a half of his hand so I could actually go to sleep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I've never done any hard drugs. Okay. Uh, but we, you know what I'm saying? I say we often whenever I'm talking about, you know, things, especially things that we do as a society, as mm-hmm. a youth, as a generation, mm-hmm. because I'm a part of it, whether I'm doing that shit or some other fuck shit. Like, mm-hmm. it's, I'm, I'm not free of, like, that finger. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So. Okay. Um. With everything that's supposed to be bad, got to be such a thrill. Why is praising mediocrity such a skill? Mm. Mm. It mm. bothers me. Me too. Get, get into that real why, quick. Why is praising mediocrity such a skill? It bothers me when rich niggas with minds below poverty lines get to play like they Socrates. That's that's the line. It's, yeah. and, and I think... It's a lot of me- mediocre shit, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And we be talking about it like it's not mm-hmm. just okay. Like it's like it's the newest, mm-hmm. most riveting thing. Mm-hmm. You got to be talented to do that. You got to be talented <laughs> to consistently like find new ways to praise bullshit. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's something new. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Praise it for what it is. But we be really praising a lot of stuff like it's something brand new. Um, across the board, that's not attack at the blogs or anything. That's that's people. Yeah. That's that's when we recognize new content. That's just people. You that's know people in general. Yeah. Uh, what what these niggas with moms below poverty lines get, get to, to play, play like like, like Socrates. Socrates. Yeah. Yeah. I play like apostrophes. <sighs> I feel like I wrote that shit. That's what <laughs> I felt dope when I said that right there. Um, I play like apost- apostrophes. I mean, I'm over the words unless they verbs. That's when we see curves like sundresses in June. Right. Um, I'm over the words unless they verbs. It's a reference to action. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, same thing. A lot of people talk about a lot of things. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And, fail to follow through with action, you know, I and I, and, I and even for myself, you know what I'm saying? That's something that, that's for myself. That's something that I've struggled with a lot is trying to figure out the most effective ways to put my feet on the ground. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's very comfortable to be in a the position that I'm at and just be talking about it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And, and I often find myself checking myself to make sure that I'm, I'm staying consistent with, uh, the ideas that I talk about, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? I'm saying I think it's very important. Like I showed on on this type of love to show that like I ain't no anybody perfect. Yeah. I don't know it all. I'm not. I'm not trying to front like I do. You know what I'm saying? But it's still a level of like a path that I have to remain on. You feel uh-huh. me? So definitely, that's for myself as well. Okay. Um, the politicians addressing the youth, talking the loudest and smoking the booth. <laughs> Boof, uh, it's just Chicago slang. It's okay. just like okay. trash. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Show me proof. Who puffing the love? Who wrote up the truth? Yeah. What do you mean by that? And that's and that's and that's a big part of why I, I reference that I'm not always talking about marijuana when I'm referencing these trees because yeah. I use a lot of metaphors uh, similar to that, and it, it's just because of the rate at which I smoke, uh-huh. right? And the rate at which people I know smoke. We smoke so much. We smoke when we first wake up. A lot of niggas don't know smoke before they eat. can't eat till they smoke. You know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it's very much an addiction. But but it's something that my mom used to say, you know what I'm saying? I hope you know, you know, your Bible, like you know them rap lyrics, you know what I'm saying? I hope your schoolwork is as well as in. It's just like I hope you are dedicated to something else mm-hmm. as much as you're dedicated to smoking. You know what I'm saying? And that's again, that's something that is for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's something, something that keeps me like, because that's a reality. You don't got to think about it that seriously. Yeah. You don't have to. Yeah. It's, it's just smoking. But yeah. I do. I mm-hmm. do think about it that seriously sometimes because it's like, it's it is. I, I do that shit every day. Yeah. Yeah. As soon you as get, I wake before, up, before you know, you I'm making sure. Morning? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah absolutely. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm so I, I, I reference things in that way a lot because it, it's just a reminder and, mm-hmm. and, it, and it is poignant if you really think about it. Okay. Absolutely. See, as well as figuratively, we only smoke gas. Who wrote up the foods? <laughs> another, another, you know what I'm saying? Just a colloquialism, I guess, mm-hmm. uh, for, for a badly rolled blunt or, or joint. Yeah, yeah. He fooped that. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, fucked that yeah, up. Nothing That's wrong with him. <laughs> he wrote that shit. He wrote it, man. No oops. Just smoke them out. Brought the water. Had these niggas drowning and choking out. Trying to spread the healing component. Just love through the culture now, like. Did I say that right? Yeah. 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 Man, let's play the song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Open up the phone lines. 888-742-3345, the healing component. That's the name of the project. If you haven't picked it up, picked it up. Pick it up now. Mick Jenkins, Sway in the Morning. Dave Sisko's here with us, too. Sam Flowers here. Shade 45. Shit, this is my artist. This is my weekend artist right here. Nice. Mick Jenkins. Oz and Benjamin and I were talking about Mick. He said, Oz was like, that's my favorite project right now, man. I got to meet him. I got to meet him. Yeah. Another MC. He was just talking about you, man. Uh-huh. Um, but uh-huh. you guys got to get this the healing component. Great for music across the board. Mm-hmm. Um, even beyond that, man, just the energy that comes from some of these creations, man, can help shift your day. So yeah. uh, the healing component, make sure you pick that up. We're going to go to the phone lines. We got Carlos on the line from Michigan. Los, what up, baby? Yo, what it do? What's going on, Sway? What's going on? <laughs> What's popping? <laughs> Nothing, man. On my way to bed, uh, to drill. I'm in the military. I got drill tomorrow, man. Okay. Say what up to Mick so, Jenkins, man. Go ahead. What's going on, fam? Hey, what's going on, man? Chilling, man. Hey, man. I like the lyrical flow, man. I, it, it, I, it was slow, but hey, like you said, the metaphors and what you're, you know, your understanding is great, man. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Thank All right. you. All right. Hey, hey, Sway. Yes. 
Hey, I just got one thing for you, man. Like I said, I listen to you every day. Uh-oh. My best friend, A1, since day one, since college basketball. He just got full custody of his kid, and he's got this song. Hey, I love it. Check him out on uh, SoundCloud. It's Thomas Boy, T-H-O-M-A-S-B-O-Y. Yo, write that down, D.B. All right. Hey, hey, have him hit me on uh, social media real sway, okay? Roger that. Hey, can't get enough. Thomas Boy can. All right. All right, we got Mike on the line from Georgia. What up, Mike? Mike. What up, though? <laughs> Chill it, man. Say what's up to Mick Jenkins. What up, Mick Jenkins? Yo, good, bro? I'm feeling the whole vibe, man. I, I dig that, man. Like, Thank you, bro. Especially, like, you know what I'm saying, when they was talking about how you use your metaphors, you know what I'm saying, you reference trees a lot, you know what I'm saying, I can relate to that. I just uh, wanted to let you know I fuck with it, man. <laughs> For sure. Much love, bro. All right. Okay. Work. Okay. Uh, we got Deontay from Flint on the line. Deontay. Yeah. What up, B? Hey, what up with it? What up, man? We That's got good. David Sisko here. Mick Jenkins is here as well. Go ahead. Hey, that came out pretty good. You know, it started off like, hey, where is he going with this? Mm. And then it started to sound like <laughs> kind of like outcast. For uh, sure. And then you could tell he had a message. Appreciate it, man. You know, I can tell a lot of people can relate to that. That was real catchy. Sound like a lot of people's favorite artists that you know people be hoping that don't sell out and change up the style. For sure, appreciate that. Yeah, you you yeah. run into that a lot. Like people worry that you're gonna sell out and change up your style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I think you know what I'm saying. What's the point is language. You know what I'm saying. I think a lot of people got a different definitions for what selling out is. Mm. You know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good point. What's yours? Uh, compromising your 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 own integrity, your own mission, your own reasons for doing things for okay. something else. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Of lower value. You know, like, so if you came into the game with a in, intentions and aspiration to be a pop star, when have you ever sold out if that was your goal? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, and, and, you know, it can be applied for a lot of other different things. So I think often you wouldn't even really know if somebody was a sellout until you knew why they do this. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So. These people just throw that shit around a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. yeah. Carmen in Connecticut. What up, Carmen? Hey, Shay. Sway. How are you, my friend? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Say hello to Mick Jenkins. Go ahead. And David Sisko. Mick. What's good? Wagwan, my you. Um, yo, I just want to, yo, big you up from uh, Connecticut. My boy put me on you about three years up Word. in New Hampshire. Um, uh, I, you know, I did a little research. Your mom, I think, was in journalism. Yeah, that's love. So you come, you come from a, a family of writers, yo. I appreciate it. I journal every night. Word. And uh just wanna yo, big you up, man. It's rejuvenating to hear somebody, you know. Yo, appreciate bring life back it. Man. Into the, art. the best thing to do is tell more people, you feel me? Like keep spreading that. Thank you. Yeah, your mom took a second to get on board too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mom actually was um I just come from a super religious family. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um and it's just secular music and she couldn't get past the cursing and the weed and we would argue about it and uh Eventually, it just got to a point where I was just like, look, if that's all you hear, you're not hearing me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I'm not going to talk about it no more until you really listen to it. And uh, it was right after Martyrs came out. Uh-huh. And um, maybe it was like two or three months after the conversation. And she hit me back, just like, day one supporter now. Number one supporter. Number one sure. supporter. Yeah. Yeah. Miles with it. Yeah. Well, you know, and that sounds great, Nick Jenkins. You know, um, <laughs> Your mom's with it, you know. <laughs> Who else? Carmen's with it. Everybody's with it, you know. Carlos. Carlos. So a lot of people are calling in. They all with it, you know. But all that don't make a difference when you mm. enter the Valley of the Hyenas, mm. Nick Jenkins. Mm. Mm. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> you recorded a great album. Appreciate that. Get a thumbs up from me. But you are at Sway in the Morning. Home of the MC. It's your universe, man. It's the universe, baby. Belongs to the world. And that's who tunes in. David Sisko brought some beats. Now he's different, David Sisko is. I'm different. Oof. <laughs> I'm different. David Sisko likes a challenge. I love challenges. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> oof, oof. You got an organ in here? Isn't it even, nah. <laughs> we might need one. <laughs> DJ Wonders on the beats. Mick Jenkins. Beats by David Sisko, Sway in the Morning, Shade 4 5, drop that first beat. Uh, it's different. Mm. Mm. 
sway the morning. I've been in four countries in five days, that's eight flights. Eight rights like nine ways across three cultures. See vultures, I see people dying around me. My mind stayed as fuck. Mm. I'm just trying to... That was cool. Yeah. I like what hold on, that. hold on. Shit. The papers are all the blunts and no, no. No dibs on doobies, bout to get lit by my dolo. White, great, white, I was my first love. I can't go no more, though. Moving through this water, let me show you how it's different, how I showbo. Lifted, reminiscing on them days when I would buy the pack to flip it. Uh, it's really different. It's really. That shit sound bomb. Uh, just give me another one. Just give me another one. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Damn. Yo. <laughs> it's different. I was trying to do something different, but you were skating through that. I like that. Let's go. Let's Baby, go. You like that, David? Of course. Okay. For 30 talents, most niggas be off balance. Restore it with the writings, my hand to be all callous in no time. Got up in this bitch, but just like parking, they won't validate my shit without a cosign. Can't play on both sides, he sleep with both eyes open, I be the token. Black guy in a room full of people screaming nigga with me. Now, am I wrong if that's sitting with me? And fuck it, I quote it. Why hate if they wrote it? Shit is feeling iffy. And all this water got me feeling misty. Be making mad noise. Tell them flamethrowers I be blastoids in your city. Dropping dope, I could have dealt the Whitney. Sparked the piffin' and then he spit epiphany. Swiftly, the aftermath is 50 50. How you dealing with me? You either healing or you killing. No, the weapons you wielding. No prosper, I be no doctor. Nah, he much too sickly. You must believe it though, he must be Ripley. Shout the bows out how these buckets fitting, homie. Where your thinking cap at? Know what you see. But I ain't preaching a deacon of sorts Hold your head, boy, they breaching your thoughts Have your soul for a fucking Jesus piece in a Porsche Couple years pouring up Send a piece to your courts, we lost one Just know that I could never get that jaded If ever a bone to pick, no, I'll never be dislocated I'm off one Turn it with the sage for the good vibes Better know you fucking with some good guys But if you ever feel the drop sets from your hood Let us know that in a swift moment We could be good, fellas, it's not a game Drop flames like Mario off the flower Cardio for an hour, these niggas Ain't got no heart, I see 10 men But stay with the A-mans Making better decisions like my wisdom T came in Game in, learning if I put it in lame man's Terms you worms, couldn't fuck with an early bird at your best Young Lazarus on the rise, I'm laying it down The rest I've been in, four countries in five days That's eight flights, I ate rice like nine ways Across three cultures, I see vultures I see people dying around me, my mind state is Fuck, spent way too much money for cheap shit like prom dates Yet and still elongate My pockets is lined with long faces and white tears I'm light years ahead of the buzz Y'all toying with, cowboying with Making points I can't be much more poignant with Shit Learned a lot of lessons at the end of the burner of Nebuchadnezzar. You could toss me into the furnace, flip them the finger. Only ever did the sojourner. The sirens is ringing. Pull over your pigment, concern us. My pigment is blinging. Deep as the water. All you niggas ever seen was the surface. But wait till I surface. You might catch a scene of me surfing these waves, but I move with a purpose. Keep my faith in my patience because I'm moving with serpents. These niggas is thirsty. These bitches is thirsty. The industry lurking. The vibes in here perfect. <sighs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't applaud that. <laughs> We're doing that a disservice with applause. <laughs> Let that shit breathe right there, man. For <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, I mean, no, man, don't say nothing. Yeah, yeah. You said you it all, man. Don't just, don't Your interview was done a long time ago, man. Don't <laughs> I want people to think about that shit for a second. Mick Jenkins, get that man a round of applause. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you having me, man. For real. What you, did you imagine that over your beat? <laughs> Let's release it. <laughs> that was right? perfect. Damn. That was right. dope, bro. How long? Well, what you... Who, who you work with? You just release it on your own? Who you work with? We'll talk about all that Where, stuff. Where, where, where? where? <laughs> My fault. No, it's I never, great. I it's like a letter. Heard, yeah. It's like a long letter. Yeah, right? it, it put me, and I, I don't, I really wouldn't even make the comparison if I didn't feel it, but, you know, Exhibit C has been a, an example for a long Ooh. time of what people Ooh. should be doing, but you put a lot 
yo, I heard what you said. Mm -hmm. I don't know about anybody else. I heard Mm -hmm. what you said. That's going to go down as another one of them blueprints. Like, seriously, we release that as is. Mm -hmm. It's dope. Thank you, Heather B. It's dope. You notice Heather ain't said one thing the whole morning, right? <laughs> and, that, and that's what she said. And so you know it's coming. She like Michelle Obama. She come from the heart. I, mm. I just, you know, I'm just, yo, you got to take hats off when it's due. It's yeah. Hats off to you. Appreciate hats you. Off. Thank you. We're good. We're good. We ain't got to do another day. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, man. I want them to live with this for a we minute. We watched him put it together. Yeah. Like, that's the thing that, the, or, that we can't wait to, for everybody to see this on Sway's Universe. Mm. We watched you. Put that shit together in here. That was crazy. Mm. Thank you. Mick Jenkins, man. Chosen. Damn. I'm not even going to talk to them black rappers. I don't. don't I'm not even going to say nothing to them. Don't put them in the same space. Yeah. I never heard Never 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 Jukaze. You never heard what? Like, he he quoted some scripture and and made an analogy that I ain't never even heard of the ball before. (laughs) 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 Wow. Ooh. Yeah, man, your mama did you right. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. sure. absolutely. Uh, sure. The Healing Component is the name of the project. Uh, make sure you pick it up. Enjoy it. Yeah. You will enjoy this. You will enjoy listening to it. Put it in your headphones and chill out. You know, uh, put it in your room, however you listen to music. I don't know if you're jogging or whatever you do to listen to it. Listen to it from point A to point Z. Mm-hmm. You know, from A to Z, the entire project. You gotta come back up on this show, man. Yeah, I definitely all right? be back, man. Absolutely, sure. man. And sure. uh and um how can people reach you on social? Mick Jenkins M I C K J E N K I N S across everything. Hit me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is. Um, no. David Cisco, give him a round of applause, man. One Thank last you, shout out. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. One of the reasons why I'm here is Mass Appeal did a really nice article on the mixtape. I just want to thank them for that, okay? Oh, Thank you. All right. Uh, and they can pick that up now? Absolutely. Tell them the name of the mixtape. Mixtape is At a Slate Angle to the Universe. Go to Mass Appeal, look me up, and listen from there. It's great. Thank you. I hope y'all enjoyed your time here this morning. <laughs> Man, you know? This is this is That's a dream great. come true, man. Yeah. Oh, man, it's a dream come true. Every time some when I see when people who are dedicated to their art and talent and they give us these gifts, the healing component is such a great title to me because I believe that these type of creative processes heal people. You're healing me when I can listen to like Heather. We all sat there mm-hmm. listening. I I got you know energy. Listening to your skill level and that energy is positive energy, you know. So that's stimulating shit in my body and in my mind. So sure. when I go off to Cleveland, I'm gonna be in a great mood. <laughs> Which I need to be in. Y'all you hear that, man? Y'all yeah. hear that? That's yeah. what it'll do for you. Yeah, the healing component, music kills and all. You know, <laughs> right. it, it, you know, you what, what happens if somebody, if you have a dark time in your life and maybe somebody passes away or something, mm-hmm. you turn on some a nice song, some music. And make you get through it and help you get through it. Yeah. You know, that's healing. Yeah. It can make you mm-hmm. feel better. Mm-hmm. That's what medicine is designed to do, it yeah. help you feel better. So, great title for your project. Appreciate it works. It. Thank you. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell your mother we said hello. <laughs> yeah, it will yeah. do. Sandflower, thank you for coming through. Thank you so much for having Congratulations me. Congratulations on your trajectory. Can't thank wait you. to hear more of your music. Uh, Guy Fieri is coming up. Yeah. Zab Judah is going to be here uh-huh. too. Sway Fieri, the morning. Fieri going to rap? He might. Yeah, we want to. You want to get a collab? Fieri with the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. All right. Sway in the morning. Shade full five. Let's turn that up, OQ. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.